guys, welcome back to my channel. American just moved to Tasmania, Australia. Just ran a bunch of errands this morning and it was really funny because, so I called my brother yesterday, which it was of course at like 2 a.m. his time and he was still up. And I reached out to him and I was like, hey, I remember when you first moved abroad to Germany, you just felt like really off and lonely. And I just remember it took him a bit to really get into the swing of things. So I was like, hey, what's your advice to not feel as lonely after moving internationally? And his genuine advice was, one, get a thing of Oreos, um, <laughs> which if you watched my moving in vlog to my flat, I actually did that. So kind of already checked that off the list. And then he was like, and get Maccas. McDonald's it's like that's your genuine advice okay so um overall been a great adjustment here in Australia but definitely moments of feeling extremely lonely and just really out of it among other things but yeah let's uh, go get Macca's what great advice from a younger brother what can I say before we even go to McDonald's finally got a planner it was like seven bucks at Kmart um, not a massive fan of the cover. I mean, I don't really care, but some of the other ones were so corny. Also, massive fail on my end. These colors don't go together at all, but it was either like this or pink. And I didn't really, I, I don't, I don't know. I just wanted like a random throw. This was only 15, <laughs> so I'm not too fussed about it. I did get this, which is a fake plant, but I hope to get a real plant, but I really liked the little, I really liked the rattan pot that it was in. You can get a flat white with your meal if you want. I went to the camera store downtown to look for a tripod. And they only had tripods that I kid you not were like $300. Oh wow, it kind of comes in like a fancy box. Maybe just cause like the sauce has to be in biodegradable. Mm. Also that, look how sad that thing of aioli is. Just made my second cup of coffee for the morning. This morning is the start finally of the second year of my masters. Of course, the like intro orientation is virtual because they're doing construction on the uh, Marine Science Building right now, which is like, of course, I've traveled completely across the world and I'm still doing virtual on Zoom, but that's kind of what's going on. Was on the phone with the fam this morning. It was nice to catch up with my parents. And yeah, McDonald's last night was definitely an experience. I think the thing for me that really stood out was the sauce packets. Well, one, they actually give you sauce because in the States, you would always ask for sauce and they would never give it to you. Like, it's a meme at this point. The sauces came in little tubs instead of packets. I don't know if that's because the tubs are like biodegradable. Don't really know, but. I'll be in Zoom land most of the day. <laughs> My friend texted me, happy first day of school. <laughs> I was like, thanks mom. I'm on break for my seminar. They gave us a two hour lunch break. 
my eyes two hours anyway i just wanted to like get out and i literally haven't been out all day i've just been staring at my computer screen although i did make myself two coffees at home I'm gonna go out and get a flat white happy first day of school got back from grabbing a coffee it was so funny i barely walked in the shop and i heard my friend ashley and i was like hey what's up small world so um yeah i got to sit down and grab a coffee with her which was a really nice break and a nice catch up it's crazy how small this island is that you just like run into people that you know usual stuff but yeah almost time to pop back into my course seminar thing i still can't believe they were like here's a two and a half hour lunch break whatever works i guess they were probably just waiting for like the specific people in the department to be available to chat but yeah, that's kind of on the agenda for the rest of the day. It's like nice to finally have a clue a little bit of what's going on and get an outline on like assessments and stuff because basically for my degree for this year at the University of Tasmania, Master's in Marine Antarctic Science, I'm just doing a 10 month long research project for my master's thesis. So still finalizing the specific details of it, but hopefully Australian fur seal thermal physiology is the plan. But still waiting for my professor to get back to me. Well, yeah, potential supervisor. But that's kind of the vibe. Just really nice. Picked me up and it was such a pleasant surprise to run into Ashley. So, yeah. Still so weird having like a friend with the same name as me. <laughs> real meat it's my first time buying meat since i've been here because it's so much more expensive here like over double the price than what it is in america so finally got some real beef i've been having like vegan alternatives tried to find new zealand whitaker's chocolate and failed miserably that i couldn't find one that was dairy free in new zealand they had a lot more dairy free options i don't know maybe i have to go like somewhere else but woolworths didn't have it so yet again Sticking with Loving Earth. This one I've had before and I know I like it. I've been putting off buying salsa for literally forever, so I finally got some of this. Been really liking the Free From Dairy Pesto. It's like annoying because like this is a lot of this is a lot of sweet potatoes, but it's so much cheaper to buy the whole bag, so. Oh, also I've been meaning to buy oats. And uh for when I don't eat vegetables. Super fun stuff. We love we love a mini haul. It looks like I raided the Mexican section of the grocery store, and that I did. I haven't had Mexican here yet, like actual Mexican in Australia. Any recommendations? I would love some. As long as it's not Zumbero, Zumbero, I don't know. I guess that's like the equivalent to Chipotle. In New Zealand, they had Mad Mex. I don't know, let me know down in the comments. Mexican vibes were a success. I'm kind of bummed because I didn't even think about it. I could have done like a tostado kind of style, put a little oil on the tortilla, bake it. Didn't pick up peppers or onions at the store. So I missed out on that opportunity, but still nice to have slight Mexican style vibes. Mexican food's definitely my favorite style of food. It's also really nice that here there's Indian food in the States, at least where I'm from in the Northeast so difficult to find indian food like very few and far between so i love a good curry but i'm gonna end this video here i'm gonna edit this and upload this and it's gonna be great i hope you enjoyed it make sure to give it a like because it really supports me in the algorithm been having a lot of fun with these videos it's been giving me a sense of purpose in the last couple weeks when so many things in my life has felt so uncertain and so out of place and so i appreciate you